course is kind of uninteresting. I don't know why I came here. Is well, well, what? Is, oh, what was that noise? I don't care. <coughs> what is that though? I didn't see Mojang. Um, I didn't see them announce this. This looks very peculiar. Why is it covered in these vines that all the trees are? Oh, that was close. Okay. What's in there? It looks normal. I'll oh, check it out. It just looks like a house. Nope, can't go up there. Why would Mojang just shadow drop a whole structure like this? This is weird. Oh. Is there anything under the carpets? Let me see. Not that one. Um, what about this one? Nope. Uh, this one? Oh. Um, what's going on here? Is there anything under it? Oh, there is. Uh, is anyone looking? Nope. Uh, let's go in it. screwed. Hello and happy Halloween, I know. I know it's not Halloween yet, but I thought I would make this video as a sort of Halloween special since it is currently October, and I just kind of had this really fun idea of uh, a structure to add to the Pale Gardens, even though the Pale Gardens aren't even finished yet. <laughs> this behind me is what I like to call the Creek and Crips. I watched Minecraft live, and I noticed that the reason they added the Pale Gardens was to add a sense of unfamiliarity. And basically, I just kind of wanted to add that with this structure right here, while still making it feel vanilla. If I do a little bit of an overhead shot here, you can see it's a lot more of a weird shape. It has a roof type that most, if not all, all structures in Minecraft don't use, which is this more slanted one, like a barn shape almost, like that. And I even added these little candles on top to almost give it that crypt type of vibe with the new pale oak wood. I thought that it would be kind of a cool addition, and I tried using as much stuff from the pale gardens as possible. I used these little vines, the pale oak logs here, but I couldn't really find a color that matches really well with the pale logs that are in the garden itself other than the moss and the tough bricks which i am way too big of a fan of so as much as i wanted to use the pale oak planks i do think the white color while it works really well would kind of stick out like a sore thumb in a very dark biome because you know um it's white like a really bright white so i just didn't think that would have worked very well as much as the tough did and it took me a very long time to find a block palette that actually fit well with it and you also see that i have these wither roses on the uh premises you could say so this would be another reason to come to the pale gardens if you just wanted to get slightly less efficient supplies of wither roses because a wither skeleton farm is kind of a late game thing to have and so there's people who want wither roses early in the game so i thought that would be a pretty fun way to have them go adventure out to get the supplies needed for wither rose because not everyone wants to be the wither immediately and also just like as a detail i noticed that like uh, around all of these trees there's the little moss and stuff and the moss carpets and i kind of wanted to put that around the house as well with a mix of like chorus dirt and mycelium as well to sort of give a sense that this crypt is like literally killing the ground around it you could say because not only does this feel unfamiliar but to me at least this house literally feels dead like it feels like 
the point of it is to kill things. So the fact that it kills the lawn kind of adds to that. And you probably also noticed, I put some of the creaking hearts on the outside banisters because I had this idea for a guard for the house that you would have to get through before you could really enter it, which is basically just the creaking, but probably a little bit stronger. And instead of them waiting for you to look at them to attack, they just attack you straight up. They don't stop for you. I thought that would have been really cool. And I and like to differentiate this, instead of the orange eyes, I was thinking more like either red or the blue eyes to match with the soul lanterns. And, and like breaking these blocks wouldn't kill them but it would make it so that you can kill them. So after you would break the block, you would be able to fight it. And if you killed both of them, it would unlock the door to the crypt. And that goes into our next, next part, which is inside the crypt itself. So going inside of the crypt, you'll see it looks pretty normal. This would also be a good way to get black and gray candles and a bunch of soul lanterns, cause why not? And even more with the roses, but there would also be loot here, which I did not put anything in in any of the chests, actually. I would assume it would be a pretty basic loot. Probably a few of the candles that you see right here, maybe a soul lantern or two, but there could be a very small chance of you getting, let's say, like a, a breeze charge or maybe even your own creaking heart, you know? You, could, you also probably could tell from the intro, you can't climb these ladders, so you'd have to use the puzzle to place ladders yourself like that and get up here, which would have relatively the same loot, but maybe some other stuff. You guys could, if you want, you guys could easily give me some ideas in the comments and I could try turning this little creaking crypt thing into its own little data pack if you want. I am not good at making data packs, so I would probably either have to get the help of a friend or spend months making it myself. I think that's a pretty fun idea if you guys wanted me to. No promises I'd actually finish it though, because I'm not as command block savvy as I used to. And even when I was, I wasn't good at making data packs or knew how to. But, but also there's just a little back door here that you could use if you wanted to negate. Actually, no, it would you would probably still have to fight those because fighting them and killing them unlocks the door, I just remembered. But then obviously you saw in the intro, under this black carpet here, there would be a door that you would open and you would fall into the crypt. This would be one of the few places you could get skeleton skulls without having to use a charged creeper. And there would also be pots that you could break and find some more goodies in there. Probably relatively the same loot. But then it's just basically a glorified dungeon. But basically it's just like a regular dungeon, but except instead of one spawner, there is four. One in each corner, basically. And the openings would be weirdly shaped. So you would either have to jump and in some cases you can't even get into the entrance. So you'd have to go all the way around and then get in and there would only be one way out. And the type of mobs that I used for now would be the bogged right here and uh, the wither skeleton. But I really like the idea of the crypt having its own mob. I would like it to be like, almost like lost souls, like lost players who have tried to venture into the dungeon and never got back out. I just really liked the idea of having its own mob and I even tried faking my own mob with MC Stacker, but I could not get the commands to work, probably because this is a snapshot. But yeah, so I couldn't actually make that mob for you and show it, but yeah, uh, relatively short video, but I just, I thought this was a really fun thing. Let me go back into creative real quick. But yeah, I just thought that this was a really fun little thing to do for Halloween and I just really love this update. The Pale Gardens is probably my favorite biome at the moment. The creaking is easily my favorite mob because of how unique it is and like how it gives that sense of unfamiliarity that Bojang was trying to do, adding something that no one ever expected them to ever add, which is really awesome in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like this dungeon and wanted to like help me make this a data pack in itself, y'all could easily hit me up on Discord. I'll have it in the description and I would be more than willing to help out and make this a thing that y'all can actually play for yourself when the update comes out. But yeah, if you guys have any more suggestions for this or anything that you would want to add to it, feel free to DM me on Discord or even just comment it yourself. I'm just very happy with this little project of mine and I'd love to see it go further than just an idea. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Like a